Welcome to Jurist 101. I am part of Sedona Network's legal and contracts team, and I want to show you how we use Ironclad Jurist to redline faster, stay policy compliant, and work more efficiently without switching between tools. Let's start with the challenges we face and what we're solving for. Renewing third-party paper takes too long. We need every red line to follow an internal policy, but our approved language is often buried in past negotiated contracts. And since legal research often happens outside our core workspace, it slows everything down. That's where Juris comes in. The interface has three main parts. The majority of the screen is the embedded docx editor. This is where I review, red line, and make edits in real time. On the left-hand side is the chat interface. That's where I send prompts, upload contracts, and access safe prompt templates. You'll also see tools like inspect and access to the web, which let me dig deeper or pull in trusted sources when needed. Below is the upload area for precedent documents. These are used to guide clause-by-clause -clause edits with our preferred language, making it easy to stay aligned with policy and past negotiations. It's also important to understand how Jurist handles files in context. Documents uploaded in the prompt input area, just above the chat box, are treated as project files. These shape the conversation and are part of the active workspace. Precedent documents, on the other hand, are used strictly for reference and don't influence the main project, unless I explicitly ask Jurist to use them. Jurist remembers everything that happens within a project from the prompts I enter to the files I upload. So if I am redlining an NDA and need to review a service agreement, I'll start a new project to avoid blending contexts. I usually start by uploading a document, either from my desktop or from the Ironclad repository. To make it easy to find what I need, I can filter the repository by document type, counterparty, or keyword. Jurist also supports batch review, which is helpful when I'm working through several documents at once. I can upload multiple files, but only the ones added through the prompt input area are treated as project files. Those shape Jurist's responses. If I want to reference past agreements like NDAs or MSAs, I upload them separately as precedent documents. These help guide red lines with approved language, but they don't influence the current project unless I ask Jurist to use them. And if I ever need to return to something I worked on earlier, I can use the History tab to access previous projects and conversations. It's a quick way to pick up where I left off or reuse earlier work without starting from scratch. I've added my document, a UPA, to this project. With the contract uploaded, I'll run a saved policy check I've created in the prompt library. The library includes my personal entries, shared company-wide prompts, and Ironclad's pre-built templates. This check automatically redlines the agreement based on our internal policies. Juris begins by activating its agents. You'll see a managing agent prepared the plan, followed by reading and editing agents applying the redlines. Once Juris finishes redlining, I can review changes right in the embedded docx editor. I can accept or reject suggestions directly, and any edits I make myself show up in a different color. If I prefer working in Word, I can open the same document in Microsoft Word. And it's all synced, so any edits I make there will show back up in Jurist. Sometimes I want to align language with how we negotiated a similar deal last quarter. To do that, I upload a precedent document using the panel in the bottom left corner of the screen. These don't change the project directly, but give Jurist a reference point when suggesting edits. Once a precedent is uploaded, I can select any portion of text in the project document and the option to suggest red lines based on precedent becomes available. Juris compares the clause in front of me to the matching section for my precedent and recommends updated wording based on what we've used before. If the suggestion works, I just click replace and the change is applied instantly. If I just want to change a specific sentence, I don't need to prompt on the whole document. I highlight the section and give Juris an instruction. Jurist will only act on the selected text, so I get a focused red line without affecting the rest of the agreement. Jurist also helps with legal research. When I toggle on that access the web, it can pull live results from a growing list of legal and regulatory sources like the FDA, state law sites, 
and regulatory bodies, then returns an answer with citations. That saves a ton of time when I need to validate something mid-review. As I mentioned before, if I need to revisit a document I worked on earlier, I can open the History tab and return to any previous project. Jura stores the full chat, file history, and edits from the session. For our legal ops team, the biggest benefit is speed without sacrificing control. Jura helps us reduce review cycles, stay consistent across agreements, and keep everything in one place, without needing to jump between Word, internet browsers, or outside tools. Whether I'm reviewing an NDA, a service agreement, or answering compliance questions mid-draft, Juris gives me a single, AI-powered workspace that saves time and enforces standards across the board.